Congressman Daniel Webster's office. Phones are ringing off the hook. Constituents are jamming the lines at Congressman Daniel Webster's office in Winter Garden and in Washington. People are really tuned in. Tuned into the country's debt ceiling debate. It's not just Senator Webster's office encountering a deluge of calls and emails. At Senator Bill Nelson's office, same thing. This after President Barack so Obama urged Americans to Monday to make their voices heard. If you want a balanced approach to reducing the deficit, let your member of Congress know. The president is calling for a compromise. The House and the Senate are both pushing their own plans to raise the nation's debt limit. It's a cap on the amount the federal government can legally borrow. Where do citizens in Congressman Webster's district stand on the issue? We saw approximately 60 percent um, of our calls were saying, you know, it's, uh, we'd like to see a compromise. It's okay to raise the debt limit. Another 40 percent or so are saying no. You know, we've, we've reached a point where we need to just not raise the debt limit. And what well, about Congressman Webster? We Would he be willing to compromise to try to get some something done? Well, Congressman Webster's priority has always been to cut spending without raising taxes, and that's a principle that he has stood on consistently.